Gets the poison tower. Oh, that poison tower got a shot off, but he's okay. Got the town hall. What else can he get? Next invis. He's gonna try to get that scatter. There's still some super archers alive there. Oh, all these poisons though. They get the scatter shot. Look, there's not a whole lot of base left. <laughs> Dude. We are back, ladies and Clasher, with the next matchup today in the French Clash Cup. Republic of Gamers Masters Series. We got War and Glory taking on MS Esports. Two top tier teams facing off here today in the round of 128. One of these teams will be going down. One of them will be moving on to the next round. And let's find out who's it gonna be. Nick coming in with the first attack of the match with a little super witch action. Witch is on the left, Archer Queen is in. Warden just set a tiny little funnel. King on the top side with the Frosty. Siege Barracks up there as well. Okey Healers helping the Queen, helping the Super Witches. Everybody making their way inside. King stepping around to the right. Still doing a great job creating that funnel. Poison spell for the Ice Golem CC. It's so common these days. We are seeing a lot of these triple Ice Golem CCs. Warden took a lot of damage, but he's okay for now. Healers are keeping the big boys alive. Super Witches are all still healthy. Valkyrie's coming out of that clan castle. We got the double jump to get us all the way through the base, but it's going to take quite a bit of time to get over to that town hall. Warden has to go to auto ability. Almost. Can the healers keep him alive? Monolith locks onto a Super Witch. Do we dare pop the Warden ability? Yes, we do. Keep those witches alive. Do we use any spells for the Monolith? He rages. He freezes. Okay. Invis Tower is going to go off soon. This is going to get a little awkward. He sends Royal Champion from the left side of the base. Poison Tower goes off. Invis Tower goes off. Town Hall Invisible. Queen finds a Tornado Trap. She's doing the Disco Dance right now. Uh-oh. Pops Queen Ability. Uses the Invis. Queen needs to go for the Town Hall. And she does. We lost the Unicorn. Single Target Inferno Tower behind. Looking deadly. Poison Tower might have a chance to recharge. Royal Champion and the Diggy are doing a great job on the left side. They still have ability, but no more spells. And this back end is going to be so rough. Even with the Super Witch is still alive. I don't think he has enough to get through this back end, does he? Royal Champ pops her ability. Boom, boom, boom. Diggy going to stun the Warden. Diggy going to stun the Inferno Tower. But the Barbarian King is there. And he's going to put a stop to it. Down goes the Royal Champion, down goes the Diggy, and the single target front on tower, the Poison Tower combo, should be able to kill the last two Super Witches. Rip. Not quite gonna work out here. Healers are keeping the big boys alive, but the single target front on tower will eliminate them. Poison Tower goes off again. <clears throat> That's a lot of damage. Healers inside that Poison spell. 12 seconds, and we're still stuck on the king. It's going to wrap up there. It looks like at 88%. Nice try to nick, but not quite good enough to get the three star here in the first attack of the match. Sente is in. 19 rocket balloons. Hey, yo. Two clone spells. Five invisibility. Oh, gosh. Is he going with a super archer blimp into a Sui into a rocket balloons? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Here we go with a lot of rocket balloons on each side. Oh, a lot of rocket balloons in general from the top. Bro, he's using almost all of them. Okay. He is using all of them. All the rocket balloons, nice and early to take out this Eagle Artillery. Set up pathing for the blimp. And, oh, no, actually, we're gonna use the blimp from the other side. Freezes the Poison Tower. Invis. Invis. Clone, clone, rage, invis. Ooh. Gets the poison tower. Oh, that poison tower got a shot off, but he's okay. Got the town hall. What else can he get? Next invis. He's gonna try to get that scatter. There's still some super archers alive there. Oh, all these poisons though. They get the scatter shot. Look, there's not a whole lot of base left. <laughs> Dude. He just gutted the entire base and got all the defenses on the top side. There's just this little strip on the bottom right and the monolith and the inferno towers and that's it. <laughs> oh, that looks funny. King, queen on the bottom side. They had to fight the ice golem. 
We find a bunch of Teslas down here. We got an ice golem of our own. We got a E Titan in to help out. We're just gonna rely on the heroes to get the rest of the base. Also got two baby drags and that's it. Okay, no spells either. King Queen making their way inside. Couple headhunters to help get through the enemy barbarian king. Are we gonna have to pop king ability very soon? I think we do. We got the Phoenix to help him out. Another wall breaker over there. Doesn't make it all the way though. Might need Royal Champion to take out that Inferno Tower. He's got the Diggy to stun it. But without any spells, it could be awkward if we're going to send her right into those enemy heroes. Might be better not to do that. Pop Queen ability. She'll take out enemy Queen. She'll take out Expo. She'll keep walking to the right. And we send Royal Champion from the left. Okay. Slowly running out of time as well. RC's going to make her way in toward the multi. Hopefully that Diggy can sp stun the monolith very quickly. Otherwise, he's in trouble. Oh, Diggy's dead. Which means the Royal Champion's gonna get wrecked as well. One shot, two shot, three shot. She gets the Monolith. She skips the enemy RC, goes straight for the multi, but the King's dead. The Queen's dead. We get the multi. Oh, he's barely not gonna get this, is he? We got the Baby Drag, we got the E-Titan, there's traps. He gets down the scatter shot for 99, but the single stays up. Bro, rip synthe. It's low too. The 99%. Oof. Agent 33 is in with some queen charge. Hog riders. Here we go. Queen on the top right side of the base by the town hall. Looks like we want her to skip it for now. We're using a flame flinger over at 3 o'clock. Okay. Okay. Wall break. We do want her to go into the town hall. We just delayed the wall break, delayed the healers, so we get the better angle. Couple of hog riders, and do they pull that poison tower? No, but they do pull the CC. Was it all of it? I don't think it is all of it. He gets the town hall though. Still trying to see if he can pull more. Pulls the last ice golem and pulled the poison tower. Nice. That's actually pretty clutch with the outside hog riders. Next rage on the queen, she's still dealing with those ice golems. Flame Flinger getting some more value on this right side. It's in a Coco Balloon. Still looking for traps. Down goes the air defense. Queen finally gets the last ice golem. We got one more rage, actually two more rages for her. Next rage is in as she goes for the single. We have any more wall breakers? We do not. Does she get the poison tower before it has a chance to recharge? We're dropping the king on the bottom side of the base. She gets the poison tower. Flame Flinger getting a lot of value, although it's getting targeted by the mortar now, but we're gonna go ahead and send all the piggies. Bacon is in, early as heck healing spell. King with the Phoenix, able to kill the enemy queen. What is he stuck on? Oh, he was stuck on the king. He did kill the enemy queen though. The other poison tower goes off on the hogs. We're popping warden ability now. Some headhunters are in to help us get through the enemy king. And royal champion. Queen stuck on the wall over here. That scatter shot can actually hit her. Bro, she is not in range of that scatter shot. That scatter shot's wild in. Hogs are making their way through, trying to take out the monolith. Royal champion's still in there with the diggy. Frosty's slowing down. Ooh, the monolith, but everything's fizzling out. RC finally gets the monolith. She already used her ability. He's in trouble. Is it enough? There's openings in the walls. Royal Champion can stun. Or the Diggy stuns. We get through the multi. Get through the multi. Warden, Diggy. <gasps> they get the multi. Queen can finish off the rest of the base. We gotta get the clan castle in the core, though. And this other building over here. He's got an archer over there. Ooh, he's got sneakies. He's got Frosty and Diggy with the headhunters behind working on these buildings. 21 seconds. Can Agent 33 get it done? For war and glory. Diggy and Warden go to the middle. They're working on that clan castle. Yes. <clears throat> they get it down for 99 and 100%. It's a three star and war and glory with the first triple of the match. Amualin is in with some Zap Lalo with a skeleton spell. Okay. Against Nick's base. We got a lot of sneaky goblins too. He's gonna zap the monolith. 
get the poison tower. Also got a builder hut and a sweeper. Woke up the town hall, or did he? Yeah, he did. He woke up the town hall. More sneakies to try and secure that first star. Going in from this bottom side. Still has nine left. Couple balloons for the archer tower. Sneaky pulled some traps. Maybe one. Nope, he's sending all of them. Here we go. With the invisibility spell, they should be able to secure that first star. Then we can do the Sui. King with the Phoenix. Archer Queen with the Unicorn on the south side of the base here. Skeleton spell is in. Wall break to give access. Better access. King stuck on so many archers over there. That's awkward. Royal Champion with the Diggy to help support. Queen still not going inside. Now she is, finally. Finally. We pop King ability. RC fighting enemy Queen. We use a poison spell early. Triple Ice Golem CC. Again. It's so common now. Diggy stunned the scatter shot. Poison spell is in. We only pulled two Ice Golems, not three. Awkward. Phoenix keeps the King alive for an extra eight seconds, but he's going to die. We start the Lalo from the right side of the base with the Stone Slammer. Okay. Rest of the Lalo from the top right side of the base. We get Headhunters targeting the Royal Champion nice and early. Pop the Warden ability. Aced our way through. That's looking good, but we still have the Eagle to worry about. We still have the Multi on the back end. Poison Tower goes off again. Stone Slammer dies. Balloons get through the scatter. We're going to freeze up the Multi with the Eagle. Queen still getting a little bit more value. She gets out of range of the single just in time. She's wrapping around. One more freeze on the Multi. Now he's out of spells, but he's got a lot of Balloons. Queen's still alive, barely. Come on, come on, come on, get through it. Queen goes down. We got the Phoenix. We got lots of balloons. We got a Dragon Rider still alive in the core of the base. Seeking Air Mind's going off on the balloons. But we get through the multi. We get through the single. All the defenses are dead, and he's got plenty of time for cleanup. Al Mualin able to get it done for MS Esports, and we are all tied up. Five stars apiece. Woo, this is going to be a good match. Reach is in. With some Queen Charge, Lalo for War and Glory. Cool. Let's see what he's got against Arium's base. Starting the Queen over at 5 o'clock. Couple balloons testing for traps. Early Battle Blimp in as well. Healers on the Queen. How much do we want the Blimp to get? We want it to get the single, I bet. Is it going to get that? I don't think it will. Or does it? Or does it? Ooh, it damages the single target front tower, but does not take it out. We invis the Queen. Ooh. He's gonna keep walking left here. <laughs> Interesting. Should go inside. He should. From the bottom angle, though, means we're gonna lose a healer. Not the end of the world. Coco Loon pulls a trap. Queen to fight the enemy royal champion. Oh, headhunter to the wrong hero. Need another Rage or a Freeze or both. We go with the Freeze. Where are we going to Wall Break? Give Queen access to the Multi with the Wall Breaker. There's the next Rage. He's being so patient with this Wall Breaker, man. Loses a Healer to a Seeking Airmine. There's the Wall Break. Queen stepping to the right. She goes for the King first. We're going to need another spell. Got to Freeze the Single and the King. That was a very nice Freeze. Going to have to Rage the Queen up again, though. Come on, homie. You got a rage. You got a rage. You got a rage. It was late. Queen ability goes off. Queen. Woo, she almost died through ability. She'll get the eagle. Hound going for the king on the right side of the base. Okay. King is, queen gets through the multi. The royal champion's in with the phoenix. Really wish he had the diggy. Poison tower goes off on the queen. She might die there. Yep, she's dead as heck. She's dead as heck. The royal champion's stuck on the hound. That's awkward because she got targeted by the expo instead of the king. We pop her ability. We got the poison for the pups. Can King take out enemy queen? He's stuck behind a wall. Yak trying to bust it open. King and barbarians get through. Royal champion already going to her death, but the phoenix keeps her alive for a few extra seconds. Not long enough to get the multi down, though. We're going to Lalo from the left side of the base. Freeze the town hall. Should be able to hit the monolith with that freeze as well. He drops it a little bit better. There we go. No more spells. Looking rough. Poison Tower goes off on the balloons. Pops Warden ability. These balloons are going to fizzle out as soon as after the Town Hall dies. They're going to fizzle out fast. There's the Town Hall for the second star. 
Giga Poison goes off though. Monolith doing damage. Giga Poison wrecking all these balloons. He's got some troops on the outside of the base trying to pick up some decent percent, but it's a huge defense for Arium. This one not going to work out for React. Five seconds left. He's only going to be able to pick up two or three more buildings, and it is indeed going to fall short here at 81%. Tryhard is in with 13 lightning spells and an earthquake. Hey, yo. That's a lot of lightning. He's going to zap away the entire core of the base. Down goes the eagle. Down goes the monolith. He didn't get the monolith. Did he do the zaps too slow? Was the builder repairing? Or did he miss his half? I'm not sure. Uh-oh, that's awkward. Yeti Bomb on the left side of the base. Should be able to pick up the scatter shot. <laughs> Monolith still alive at 1 HP. But he did get those spell towers out of the way, which is nice. Yetis take out the scatter shot. Okay. Archer Queen with the Unicorn. Gonna walk down toward the bottom side of the base. King with the Phoenix to help support now. We've seen a lot of people in this matchup today using the Phoenix with the King. Seems they are liking that combo. <laughs> e Titan is in as well. King can pop his ability, fight the enemy Barbarian King. Headhunters in to support. Royal Champion with the Diggy on the right side of the base. Wallbreaker doesn't really do anything. Royal Champion getting several buildings down. King making his way through. Still has that Phoenix to go off. Bro Champion already used her ability. Queen pops her ability. Here comes CC troops. Town Hall going down. Monolith is behind. Triple Ice Golem CC. Is there any way to get that Monolith? It's still at like 1 HP, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's oh so awkward. We can hit the Queen from this angle as well. She's going to pop her ability. She might not even kill all the Ice Golem. She already popped her ability. Lala's in from the left side of the base. Not a single spell to help the Lala. We do have an Ice Hound, but that's it. There's a multi, there's a scatter shot, there's an archer queen. We send the headhunters. We're gonna pop warden ability. Oh, are those headhunters even gonna live long enough to take her out? I don't think they will. They're dead. Queen's still alive. He's in trouble. Tryhard's in trouble. Ice Hound is freezing. We get through the scatter shot. We don't get through the multi. Oh, this is gonna be a super important defense for Agent 33. Oh my, what's the percent going to be? All the balloons go down. All the minions are getting wrecked. Ward and Owl going to pick up one more storage, go fight the queen, but they're actually going to die there. Oh my. He can't even get anything else, can he? Can he get the cannon? I don't think so. Got a balloon and a minion, but I don't think he can get a single building more. It's going to be an 80% attack from Tryhard, and we are still all tied up. I think MS Esports will barely have the percentage lead because they did have that 99% from Synthi. But anything could happen. It's 7-7. Seven to seven. Hereticus is in with some Queen Charge Dragon Rider action. We don't see Dragon Riders too much at Town Hall 15. At least we haven't yet. Let's see if Gereticus can make it work. I feel like the Poison Towers, the Monolith, they just counter Dragon Riders really well, which is why we haven't seen a whole lot of them at Town Hall 15. Did he drop his healers in range of that Archer Tower? Uh-oh, that's an unfortunate mistake. We're gonna go with the Freeze and a Rage to try and fix that. Queen will fight enemy Queen, get the Tesla, keep moving left, okie dokie. <laughs> My cat is trying to jump on the computer. Oh, he better not turn it off. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Jumping spell to get Queen. Better access to the Town Hall area, but the scatter shot. Oh, that's awkward. Do we invest another freeze? We do. Okay, targeted the healers. Right. Royal Champion's in on the south side. Healers already took a lot of damage, dude. The Poison Tower might actually kill all the healers now. They get in range. Oh, we invis. Royal Champion trying to get the scatter, but she got distracted. Multi might finish off his healers. We go with the freeze, we go with another rage. Dragon Riders in from the right side of the base. Here we go. 
Bro Champion and Diggy trying to stun the multi. We pop Queen ability. All the healers are dead. Rocket Balloons on the road. Champion, she's dead as well. She doesn't get the multi. Queen barely gets the Town Hall, and then she's dead. Oh. We did use one Dragon Rider on the left, the rest on the right with the Warden ability. King's being used late on the top side with the Phoenix. Yet again, we're seeing that Phoenix with the King. We froze the Monolith. Dragon Riders get through it. But the core of the base is still up. I don't know if it's going to be enough here. He's got King ability to pop to try and take out this Royal Champion. Try and take out the Scatter Shot. But those Rocket Balloons are going to do a lot of damage to the King. Phoenix can bring him back to life for a few seconds. Uh, don't think he's going to be able to get the triple here with no more spells. Poison Tower is getting a chance to recharge. Uh-oh. Taking air mine hits a rider down to the last rider. The Warden, the Owl, the Phoenix. Poison Tower going to go off again. Oh, it did not go off again. We got it down just in time. Bro, this is actually so close. Hold on. <laughs> Dragon Rider Warden going for the last multi. They get it? He gets the Sweeper? Phoenix going for rocket balloons, but the oh the lava or the minion got stuck on the hound. 17 seconds, and we don't have any cleanup on those two buildings. No, he's not gonna get it. Bro. We popped the hound. It's delaying the time so much. Rip those two buildings on the top side. It's a time fail for Gereticus at 90. 8%. Oof, nice try. Captain of MS Esports, Kingsman is in to try and keep their lead. He needs a three star. Let's see if he can do it with the Queen Charge Lalo against this ring base. Queen starting on the left side. Early Stone Slammer. Okay. Okay. That's going to hopefully make its way in toward the multi. At least that looks like the plan. And it does. Perfect pathing. Queen, we got healers for her. There they are in. Stone Slammer might even take out the scatter shot as well. Jeez. So the Stone Slammer and the troops in it took out the multi and the scatter shot, and they pulled the CC and they triggered the poison tower. That was a really high value Stone Slammer. Very nice base identification here from Kingsman. Queen's gonna walk her way down. Already took out the king. Now she's stuck on these ice golems. Do the Yeti Mites also get the Poison Tower so it doesn't have a chance to recharge? Yes! Bro! The Yeti Bomb with the Stone Slammer getting so much value there. I like it. King again with the Phoenix on the south side of the base. Okay. We send one more Cocaloon. The Expos are hitting pretty hard though. Not gonna lie, it's a lot of damage on the Queen. She gets out of range of one of them, so now it's just two. King with a Valkyrie to help set a funnel here to get the Queen to the core of the base. We want her to take out that Town Hall. We freeze so the King can take out the enemy Queen. Aggressive rage on the Queen, the Unicorn, and the Healers. She's back in range of three Expos. Poison Tower goes off on the King. Healers need to get inside the rage. Come on, Queen. Come on, Queen. Come on, Queen. She's okay. She's okay. She's not okay. She goes to ability. Rip. Rip. Does she go inside for the Town Hall? Yes. Town Hall should be secured. Phoenix saving the king. He's going to get an extra Tesla because of it. Royal Champion with the dinghy in on the right side of the base. Do we lolo from the top left? Yes, we do. Here we go. One hound, lots of balloons. We find the Tesla farm. Warden to help. We got a monolith and a multi up there to worry about. Cleanup minions are already down. Royal Champion working on the right side of the base. She's doing a great job. Queen dodging the Giga Poison like a boss. Going for the scatter shot first. Nice value from the queen. We pop Warden ability. Rage our way into the multi. Find the tornado trap. Freeze the Monolith and Expo to help not only the Lalo, but the Queen as well. Last Invisibility spell is in, so the Queen can stay alive five ever. Royal Champion already used her ability, but we got through all the defenses. It is wrecked. What a plan from Kingsman. Beautiful Queen Charge Lalo against this base. Down it goes. And MS Esports able to maintain their lead. Ten stars. To nine. Rigo is in with the final attack for War and Glory. Queen Charge, Lalo. They are down by a star. He has to triple and then they have to hope for a defense. Let's see if he can save them today. Queen starting on the left side of the base with the Flame Flinger over at 10 o'clock to support. Okay. 
Healer's on the queen, she'll get the archer tower, she'll walk down towards 730. Flame Flinger gets the wizard tower, goes for the cannon, should go for the mortar next. It might take damage from the mortar unless we try to distract it. Aggressive rage on the queen. We're sending a hog, does that distract the mortar perfectly? Yeah, but the queen goes for the hog. Oh, hello CC troops, queen's distracting the mortar. How does that monolith reach her? Bro, no way, I'm calling BS. She is not in range of that monolith, is she? Oh my gosh, we drop a skeleton spell to help, and we had to use a freeze. Queen gets rid of the hound, Flame Flinger takes out the mortar. Monolith is back on the queen, she's in range, but that monolith range is crazy, dude. Scattershot going for healers, he's in big trouble. Oh, the Flame Flinger's still not going for the scattershot. We invis. Oh, those healers are gonna die. He's in trouble, healers are dead. He still has the unicorn. Can she at least get the town hall? He really needs her to get the town hall. He's going for it. He's raging queen and unicorn together. Eagle locks on. He's got a pop ability. There's a double poison tower. Oh no. Oh, Rigo. Unicorn's dead. Queen. Dead. Rip. There's no way to save it, is there? Yikes. Royal Champion on the right side gets the other scatter. That Flame Flinger still never went for the scatter shot, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Rocket Balloons, Headhunters coming out of the Flame Flinger. They actually pull the tor the uh, Poison Tower. Is there a way he can save this with a good Lalo? Oh, that Poison Tower is trying to recharge. I don't think he can save it, man. The Eagle's still up. It's going to target his group of balloons. He's got no spells. Rip. Pops Warden ability just to get the Town Hall, but it's gonna fall short. Town Hall secured. Balloons on the top side trying to get more. If Queen got that Town Hall and the Poison Towers, man, this was tripled for sure. This would have been tripled. That's so sad with the, with the uh, Scattershot targeting his healers like that. Man. Nice try, Rigo. Minions will collect some extra buildings, but it's gonna fall short just above 80%. Ariam is in with the final attack of the match. Some E-Dragon action here to end the match. Cool. We got balloons on the top side. Take out the cannon. Flame Flinger is in. Flame Flinger gonna be able to get some nice value here on the top side of the base. Rocket balloons for the air defense at 9 o'clock. Cool. What's next? It's e drags in between, I guess. Julio. We're gonna wait for the flame flinger to get the eagle, I guess. Wait another 15 seconds. 20 seconds. Is he actually gonna do e drags from the right? I feel like he might. Hmm. Double Poison Tower in the core is going to be wonky on his E-Drags. Yep, he is going to do E-Drags from the right. Here's the Archer Queen to snipe the other air defense. And all the E-Dragons are in. Early Warden ability. We got no Battle Blimp for the Town Hall, so he has to keep these E-Dragons alive. There's the Double Rage. There's the King with the Phoenix out in front of the Queen to help support. Freeze the Multi. Skeleton spell is in distracting. Poison Tower 1 goes off. Another freeze on the top side. Warden going with the upper group. Nobody pathing to the town hall. Okay, maybe these dragons on the right will. Maybe. Warden going inside that poison tower. Oh gosh. Freeze. Poison tower number two goes off though. Did they stay alive long enough to get the town hall? Only one healthy e drag on it, and down it goes. Okay. Which side do we use the road champion on? e on the bottom side does not get that multi. We send RC to try and quickly get it. Queen has to go to ability. We lose the unicorn. King goes to his ability. Diggy is stunning. King goes inside. Queen barely alive. We don't have a unicorn to get her back up to full health. Poison on the top side to help kill the enemy royal champion. Does that E-Drag finish her off? Yes. Oh, RC has ability. It's looking good all of a sudden. Diggy is stunning. King is distracting. Dragon Rider distracting the scatter shot. He's got it. E-Dragons for the win for MS Esports. It's a three-star. 
and a 13 star performance for them today. They get the victory 13 to 11, 95.8 to 89.6.